Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about light switch versus dimmer and I'll specifically be addressing the question of what's the difference, the main difference between a light switch and a dimmer. Now dimmers are becoming more and more commonly found in homes nowadays and for a good reason and I'll tell you the reasons why. But there are also some downsides to a dimmer just like this one or any dimmer that you find out there so let's get right into the video first and foremost this is obviously the dimmer right here okay and it's operated as such and then these are two var variations of a light switch okay these are two light switches right here so you can see this one right here is actually a three-way light switch because it has the extra terminal on this side okay and this one over here is a single pole light switch because it just has the terminals on that side over there this is the ground screw um, so we're just kind of not uh, we're, we're gonna not talk about that as a terminal because it's a ground screw I'm talking about the terminals that connect to the hot and the neutral wires so the first a difference is really in function, in main function. So as you can see right here, a light switch turns the power on or off, okay? On or off, really simple. Whereas a dimmer allows you to turn the power on or off, but it also allows you to dim the brightness of the lights. So I can turn the light on at 50% roughly, or I can just turn it off completely. I can also turn it on at full brightness, and when it's on, I can adjust the dim level. Okay, the brightness level, just like that. So that's the main difference, okay? Now, another difference is actually the cost savings. So um, when you have a dimmer, you know, if you're operating it at complete, complete brightness all the time, just on and off at full brightness, then you're not really gonna save any cost. However, if you're operating it at, you know, 25% less than full brightness, then that's going to allow you to save some cost because you're using less energy. When you use less energy, it costs you less money to run that energy, okay? So if you turn it down a little bit, you're gonna save some money. Now the dimmer itself is usually more expensive than the equivalent switch, but every month you're gonna be saving money on your bill because you're running it at less energy, at a lower energy level. The third thing is the customization of the brightness of the room. With these, you have no option. You, you have one option, turn the light on or turn the light off, right? Whereas with this, you can choose to have it brighter if it's late at night and you want the brightness, or if you want a nice ambient mood, you can turn it down and relax, have a nice dim lighting, you know, if you're, if you're gonna be watching a movie of some sort. So there's more customization with a dimmer. Now, the fourth thing is the potential complications. So some dimmers, now this is a very good dimmer. Okay, These are the dimmers that I use all throughout my house. This is a very good dimmer. I use these and ones that are very similar to this one right here by the same company. Um, they work really, really well. But some dimmers, especially when you get into like the cheaper dimmers, if you're dealing with a cheaper dimmer, there might be some complications or compatibility issues. Some dimmers are not compatible with certain types of lights, whether it's an LED light or an incandescent or halogen. Some dimmers just don't work well with certain lights and light fixtures. Now, like I said, I use uh, this brand, this specific dimmer and ones that are similar to this by the same brand, um, just a different, little bit of a different design depending on which room I'm putting them in. And they have always worked really well, but I've also in the past used some, you know, really cheap dimmers and they have sometimes compatibility issues. Now, the other drawback with a dimmer is the size, okay? Now in my previous house that I lived in with my family, with my, with my wife and my kids, uh, it was an older house, so uh, the boxes, the electrical boxes were quite shallow oftentimes. And there sometimes were lots of wires in such a shallow box that when I wanted to install a dimmer in a room, I went to go put it in and there just wasn't enough space. There was enough space for a light switch, but then you can see the difference in the dimmer size overall, right? A light switch will allow you to put it in there and you still have room for wires, even in a rather shallow box. But with a dimmer, if you have a shallow box, it's gonna be tough to fit this in if there are already wires in there, additional wires and connections in there. So the other drawback is the size. But in a more modern house, most of the time, like in my current house, I have dimmers everywhere because all the boxes are much deeper. So if you have a more modern house, you, chances are you have boxes that are sort of regular sized uh, or even extra, de extra deep boxes, um, and you're probably gonna be okay. So that's the other drawback. But that's it, that's what it comes down to when it comes to the differences between light switches and dimmers. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.